Hi, a warm welcome to you. We are solving problems on trigonometric ratios. In the earlier videos, we have solved problems where we have worked on negative angles and angles of type n pi by 2 plus or minus theta. In this video, we will use trigonometric identities and uh, simplification process to prove some examples. So this is one of the problem. Prove tan theta plus secant theta minus 1 by tan theta minus secant theta plus 1 equal to 1 plus sin theta by cos theta. I see here, if you see here on the right hand side, this is nothing but equal to 1 by cos theta plus sin theta by cos theta that is secant theta plus tan theta. And here also we have tan theta secant theta. So we can do this problem in two ways. You can convert tan into sin and cos and cos as 1 by cos and tan as sin by cos and you can do that. That's one way of doing it. Another way of doing it is you can directly take it from tan theta itself. Let's go ahead with this. So my next step will be I'll say tan theta plus secant theta minus 1 by tan theta minus of secant theta minus 1. So this is of the form now. This is A. This is A and this is B. See here? A plus B by A minus B. Now, let's try to rationalize this and see what happens. So, we'll multiply with tan theta plus secant theta minus 1 with again tan theta plus secant theta minus 1. divided by we have tan theta minus of secant theta minus 1 that will multiply with tan theta plus secant theta minus 1. So what we have done is we have just taken it we have written in the form of a plus b by a minus b we have taken b as equal to secant theta minus 1 now once we got it, what we have done is we have multiplied both numerator and denominator by whatever is there in the numerator. Now this becomes tan theta plus secant theta minus 1 whole square divided by divided by you have here a b a b a plus b into a minus b the formula is a square minus b square so I will write it as tan square theta minus of secant theta minus 1 whole square. Now let's try to simplify this. This is of the form a plus b whole square. So I'll be writing it as a square plus b square plus 2ab. So it will be tan square theta plus secant theta minus 1 whole square that is a square plus b square plus 2ab that is 2 tan theta into secant theta minus 1 divided by tan square theta minus half. We'll simplify this. This is a minus b whole square. That is a square. If I expand it, a square plus b square minus 2ab. Now let's simplify this. Tan square theta this is nothing but tan square theta plus 
this is a minus b whole square again so this becomes secant square theta plus 1 minus 2 secant theta I just kept it for your understanding plus 2 tan theta into secant theta minus 1 divided by now let's simplify this one and see tan square theta minus secant square theta minus 1 plus 2 secant theta let's simplify that now secant square theta plus tan square theta plus 1 is 2 secant square theta so this plus this is equal to secant square theta so I can write it as 2 secant square theta this part plus this part is equal to this so 2 secant square theta minus 2 secant theta plus 2 tan theta into secant theta minus 1 divided by now again secant square theta minus tan square theta is 1 but here it is tan square theta minus secant square theta so this is nothing but minus 2 plus 2 secant theta this is minus 1 and this is also equal to minus 1 because we know the identity secant square theta minus tan square theta equal to 1 but here we have tan square theta minus secant square theta that means this value is equal to minus 1 minus 1 minus 1 is minus 2 plus 2 secant theta now you can see you can take 2 common you will get secant theta minus 1 in the denominator and you can take 2 secant theta here common what you are getting is 2 secant theta into secant theta minus 1 plus 2 tan theta into secant theta minus 1 what I did is from here I took 2 secant theta out there is 1 secant theta remaining still there is only one remaining now you can see in both of these secant theta minus 1 is again common so I can take it as common it becomes secant theta minus 1 there is 1 2 in secant theta plus tan theta divided by 2 into secant theta minus 1 now this and this cancels out this is nothing but equal to secant theta plus tan theta nothing but equal to 1 by cos theta plus sin theta by cos theta that's nothing but equal to 1 plus sin theta by cos theta that is what actually we have to prove let's see that's what we have to prove so what we have done to solve this problem is by looking at the problem I see that this is of the form a plus b by a minus b now I have tried to rationalize that's nothing but multiplying the denominator and numerator with, with the denominator so that to simplify it and uh, that's what we have done we have used the trigonometric identity what is the identity we have used in this we have used secant square theta minus tan square theta equal to 1 this is the identity we have used and we have manipulated the problem in such a way that we have got the solution see you in the next video where we will do some more problems on trigonometric identities thanks for visiting Bye for now.